Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Your German team surprised a lot of people in the basketball world, in the sports world. Did it surprise you? No, I thought after Eurobasket last year when we came in third, I thought, you know, coming in, our goal was to medal in the, in the world. And um, I knew when our players came in in great shape, we had a short pre short training camp, four days. When they came in great shape, I knew we had a chance. Um, there are shots of you on Twitter after it was all over, after you won the gold medal uh, match. Uh, you're lying on the floor, the, the bowels of the arena. You look completely exhausted. What were the emotions? It was a great shot. What were the emotions you were going through at that point? <laughs> really, I have... Uh... I have, I have very real, very little recollection of it. I was um, they put us in a back room, and I was looking for a chair. I couldn't find a chair, so I just went and sat on the floor. Ended up lying down, and um, uh, my body kind of went somewhat numb. I was just uh, I went from such a high and high emotions to just relief, and um, yeah. Like I say, it was a it was a great shot. So, how does a kid from Penticton end up being head coach of the German national team? Uh, I played in Europe a long time, coached in Germany quite a while. Um, I was with Basketball Canada here and there, and then I was in Russia in twenty in twenty twenty one, and then out of the blue, they phoned me in September and asked me if I was interested. Did a couple interviews and um, and they offered me the job the same the same day we interviewed, and it was an opportunity. With the, you know we had we had, we have some very good players right in their prime, um, and you know it was just a great opportunity for, in in the right situation, right time. Hey Gordy, you're on the 1984 Canadian uh, LA Olympic team. How nice, how does it feel with so many Canadians in the NBA right now? Does that make you proud? Absolutely. I, I think basketball in Canada has um, really grown. I'm, I'm not sure whether there's over 20 Canadians in the NBA. Yep. There's a yep. lot of really good Canadians playing in Europe. Um, it's just outstanding what's happened. And I think this was great for Canada getting a bronze medal at the Worlds. And... Uh, you know, I still think the best is to come for Canada. You know, a lot of that uh, Canadian team, uh, Gordy, is from Ontario, and obviously the Raptors are there. What were your thoughts on the Grizzlies in Vancouver, and do you think Vancouver can get them back someday, Gordy? Yeah, I think it was pretty tough for the for the city and the country when the Grizzlies left. And I mean, Vancouver's a great, great um, especially hockey. You would hope that they would get another chance. Um, you, you know, you'd hope Seattle would get another chance. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Gordy, you you said you had a three year plan when you took over uh, the German team starting in two thousand with that uh, two thousand and twenty two with that three year plan. How how good does that feel uh, with what happened? The plans going right the way you wanted it to. Yeah, I can imagine really how it's gone. Uh, year one, uh, Euro basket bronze medal. Year two. Yeah. Uh, World Cup gold medal, so um, just unbelievable. We had we had guys make a three year commitment, and when I got the job in twenty twenty one, I I met with over forty German players personally, um, just trying to build relationships, building trust and respect. And uh, you know, it uh, we had over thirty players play in the windows, and um, you know, we just got a group of players who who love playing for the country, and they really care about each other. Hey, Gary, we see what's happening in the NBA. You mentioned all the Canadians that are in the uh, NBA, a lot of Europeans too. What do people in North America not know about basketball in Europe? I think in the, you know, it made huge strides, I thought, 10, 15 years ago, but especially the last three, four years, it's it's really made great strides. And, um, you know, you look at the NBA, you, 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 there's an argument that, the three best players in the NBA are Europeans, yep. with, uh, with you know with Doncic and uh, Luca, 
yep. and Jokic. And, and there's so many more really good European players. And this World Cup, actually, there were about four or five European teams that were missing three or four of their best players. Yeah. Um, actually, Eurobasket last year was, was, was just as strong as the World Cup this year. Um, and, and, sorry, Gordy, I interrupted you there. Um, before I let you go, um, teams will look different. Rosters will look different at the 24 uh, Olympics. LeBron is, talk, is talking about you know putting together a dream team uh, for the Americans. Uh, Canada will undoubtedly add a couple of uh, NBAers. I'm not sure what the situation will be with, uh, with uh, Germany, but what can we expect from the, uh, your German team at the 24 Olympics? You know, it's they asked Dennis Schroeder that question uh, yeah. after after the Worlds, and Dennis had a Dennis had a pretty good answer. He said, it "Doesn't really matter what the rest of the world does; we know what we're going to do." Yep. And um, you know, we were missing a couple guys this summer because of injury. Um, you know, I expect us to have the same roster next year. I think continuity is really important, and um, these guys have made a three year commitment. I expect at least at least ten, probably eleven guys from this team to be to be at the at the Olympics next year. I mean, Canada's gonna, you know, maybe Jamal Murray's playing, and uh, uh, Canada was, you know, Shea Alexander. They'll, they'll probably have the best backcourt in the world. You know, if LeBron and Curry play for the States, um, Jokic comes and plays f- for Serbia. We have our team. I think it's just gonna be an outstanding tournament, and you know. This is what basketball needs. Um, I'm a big hockey fan, and I, you know, I really miss the uh, the NHL players in the Olympics. And um, to me, that was the, that, to me that's the best hockey in the world, right there. When you have those teams, the hockey players playing the Olympics, and I think this next year in Paris can be a real showcase for basketball. Agreed, Gordy. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.